Alright, so next up in the Dragon Ball Z Bandai Tamashi Nations SH Figures line, we have the one and only Android 19. First time in the line, finally, we have Android 19. We are extending our Android lineup. We have Dr. Jiro coming up pretty soon, so I'm very excited for these Androids. And Android 19 is cool, you know, he's not a character that is a super main villain, right? He was there for a couple episodes, not a couple, maybe a little bit more than that for the android saga and then he was gone obviously you know not the most powerful guy out there vegeta took took care of him pretty quickly but um still cool to get him in shv guards i love it you know it's my favorite line i want to get all the characters so keep bringing everybody on what i'm really excited for is the fact that he does come with a, a vegeta head sculpt so it's a little bit of a dlc there for vegeta um and he comes with this face scope right here, that one is money. We're gonna take a look at that once we open them up. So this is a web exclusive. So he's a little bit more expensive than other figures and he's gonna be a little bit harder to get once he's gone, basically is what that means. So once he's gone, um, expect him to, to go up in value probably. And um, you won't see him unless he is a event exclusive for whatever reason, maybe a repaint or, or some kind. So here is the backside. We get a look at the um, figure in various poses. Let's go ahead and crack it open and check him out. All right, so this guy stands at just about five inches tall. So that's an idea of his height. He is on the shorter side. And I think overall that's pretty accurate. But I want to say that, I don't know, the figure feels a little underscaled. Maybe I just don't realize how short he is. He is meant to be quite shorter than Dr. Jiro, I believe. Um, if I find some images, I'll throw it up on the screen right now. But uh, I feel like the figure itself maybe should have been just a tad bit bigger in scale. I'm not sure. Hey, these figures run a little bit smaller than normal 6-inch figures, right? So... Um, it is what it is, but uh, it is a great looking figure for what he is. He's a chunky boy. This was Majin Buu before Majin Buu was cool, right? This was our fat boy in Dragon Ball, and he looks great, man. I just, you know, we're at the point in the line, 12 years after its debut, we finally have characters like this in the line. We have Android 19, you know? Very cool stuff, and he comes with some cool accessories that make this release even better. So this is how he comes packed in with that neutral, normal, stoic face and those fists on. Got the little hat on as well. And he comes with a total of five head sculpts, including the one on the figure. Five head sculpts. That's impressive. I like that a lot. For a character like this, I dig that. I respect that. Here is one right here. Look into the side. Very cool. Uh, number two, we have him. I guess technically number three, his maniacal laugh. This is a great great face sculpt i love this one and then we have this maniacal smile and then last but not least my favorite one of them all the iconic footprint on his cheek from when vegeta kicked the absolute snot out of him right here and a scared face with some scuffs on the other side right there i love it i think this is how i'm going to display him i haven't decided yet but it's definitely up there. Uh, the hat comes off, of course, because underneath the hat we have his cy cybernetic um, cyborg head right here. Transparent. Very cool. I dig this quite a bit. So, of course, you can just grab the figure. Um, his, his hat comes right off. There's a peg right there. You peg this right on top. And there you have it. There is his head without the hat. And you can just have the hat on the ground, I guess. He lost it, right? Uh, also, what's cool here is his fight with Vegeta ended up with him losing his arms. So we have his hands. I guess his hands, not his arms. But his hands are ripped off. You can see his cybernetic innards right there. Although I wish this was a little bit more detailed. You know, in the show, you could see some wires popping out. I wish they would have given us some very soft, pliable wires right here to make it a little bit more detailed that would have just really pushed it over the top but i'll take what i can get here the fact that we're getting it is cool i love the attention to detail to the source material uh, we have alternate hands of course the pair of fists that come with the figure we have the open hands right here and then we also do get these open hands karate chopping pose and then lastly we get these open hands here grabby fingers and those are it for the hands um, he also does come with this little stick. Man, I hope this is not something from one of the episodes because that would make me seem like a 
very bad Dragon Ball Z fan, but I really don't remember what this is from or what it's for. I see a peg hole on the back of the head. I'm assuming it's for this. I don't understand what this is for. So somebody let me know what it's for. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Let me know. So here's a closer look at the figure. I also did apply the um, smiling smirk face sculpt there. So you can take a look at that. Um, the details go pretty good here. The sculpt is pretty accurate on to the legs. You see some shading there. The back of the box shows some black wash on the lines. That is not present on the final product. Unfortunately, I think that would have really made the figure pop. But unfortunately, it's not there. That is an easy thing to do. I guess it's not too terrible. But it's, you know, kind of sucks that we got to do it ourselves, right? Um, down to the shoes. And uh, one more look at that face. Let's take a look at the other ones. Here is the side eye. All right, now this one right here is absolute money right here. I love this face sculpt. Combined with these hands. Oh, that looks great. And then lastly, I got a pair with the, with the head here. The see-through head. Uh, we have the battle damage face sculpt with the footprint of Vegeta on his face. And that looks great. Even better on the figure itself. That's why we're running through these again. Just to show it on the actual figure. Uh, but while we're here, let's look at the articulation of the figure. Which is pretty good for what this guy um, is shaped like. You know? So the head will move up about this far. The collar is a separate piece. So that kind of moves around too. It tucks in. So you can look down, uh, left and right. Not too bad on the movement there for a chunky boy here. Arms are going to go all the way up. And I love the tight joints here. This is also a figure from the Vietnam factory. So they are improving. I'm seeing it. Um, in and out. Uh, I noticed that here on the shoulder, this piece is separate. And that allows it to also hinge here. It's a little hidden, but it's there. So I like that quite a bit. Uh, double jointed elbows, but they really only bend 90 degrees here because of that cuff here. Uh, there is a swivel at that elbow. There's a swivel at the wrist with a ball jointed hinge. As for the torso, there is a diaphragm joint that swivels, twists, shouts, everything crunches forward and back. It pops up, as you see there, and it goes down. So I guess if you want to give him some height, you can pop it up. It's a little narrow here at the torso, but it does give him a little bit of height if you really want him to be a little bit taller, but then you just push it down if you don't. Um, the waist will, well, does the waist swivel? Yeah, it does swivel very subtly, not really anything significant. The legs, see how short and stubby they are? That's about as far as they go. They don't drop down, so that's, you know, you're not going to get much range there. Left and right, it's not terrible. And then there is a thigh swivel. Now the knees, knees I like because the, the uh, sculpt of the pants continue on. You can see all the layers here that they did for that bend. And it does bend at like 90 degrees, which is pretty decent. But you can see that it continues on the sculpt. Now the paint doesn't really match though. So that's something you should note. Uh, it doesn't really match even here right now. So it just kind of stops right here. Uh, you know, as far as that dark orange spray that they added on there for that shading. Um, for the ankles, the um, the shin guards here do swivel, and the ankles do swivel. They, they do hinge forward and back. They rock, and then they also do have a toe hinge at the foot. And that's going to do it for the articulation of Android 19. And so here he is next to the most recent release, Goku here, the legendary Super Saiyan battle damage Goku. And he stands about to Goku's neck, maybe, I guess, if you're looking at his face. Top of the needle of his hat, though, will reach the head of Goku. So, but overall, you can see how much shorter he is. As for Vegeta, you know, Vegeta is a pretty short character, he should be, and um, he stands significantly taller than Android 19. I don't know, I just feel like 19 is just underscaled, especially when you see him next to Vegeta. Let's put Goku back into the mix. Goku should be taller than Vegeta, and if we put him here. I mean, he's not too much taller, but he should definitely be taller than Vegeta. And he is. He is tall. You can see his shoulders are standing over Vegeta's shoulders for sure. Um, but overall, I think this guy needed to be just a little bit bigger. I know I keep saying it, but this this image right here pretty much kind of seals the deal, I think, on that debate. All we need really is Dr. Jero 
and um, we can get a nice clear side by side next to 19 and enduro or Android 20 we should say because that's when 19 was out and about really was when um, when Dr. Jiro and 19 were roaming the town uh, they didn't really involve themselves too much with Android 16 17 and 18 until the very end of course before they died um, or at least 19 and 20 died so but there you have it there is your look at android 19 sh figures let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section i think everyone's gonna have pretty similar thoughts on it um, but i'm still curious to know with that said let me know with that said hit the like button subscribe if you haven't done so already and as always guys take care take it easy and i will catch you guys on the next one bye